Today, what a little tip and trick for you guys. If you by chance uh, go to get a countertop done and it's got an old uh, sink top, you it's an oval drop in. Uh, number two, uh, the customer had the sink already out and the outline of the cutout that the contractor had done originally was so rough. I like to make things look a little more professional, so I wanted a true oval. So I actually measured from the front of the countertop, uh, the facing, to where the sinkhole cutout was, which ended up to be four inches. And the hole basically came down to 18 by 15. So 18 this way, 15 this way from front to back, but it was jagged in between. So taking that, here's a fast way for you guys to create a good hole that's nice and oval that where your epoxy can come in so you can still run your silicone around the edge, but yet get a true waterproof edge. And it's all done with a string and some nails. So first, taking your 18 inch opening, you find the center of your sink, you come back your three inches, plus the inch that it had for the distance where the sink, or sink was, and at that point you would measure out the 18 inches. So, figure this out. So there is your 18 inches out to the, the sink. So, coming in an inch on each way, the opening ended up to be, yeah, 18 by 15. So, at that, half of 18 is 9 inches. So you come to the center. After you mark all this off, I've kind of tried to save a little time. So you would come off from your center. You'd mark your 9 inches. Again, 15 inches up here. You come off at 7.5 inches. There's my mark here. At that point, you can come and put your first nail in. Secondly, now you figured out we had 18 inches here, so half of 18 is 9 inches. So, at that point, come from your nail, come down the line here until the 9 inches hit this line. There's your nail number 2. Come out the other way. There is your line. There is 9 inches here. And we'll put nail number three. Now grab yourself a string, and I've already tied this one. So now you have your three points. Tie a string around. Should be a little tighter than what this is, but this will give you an idea. Let's see if we can snug this up a teeny. So there's your three nails. At this point, you now have your marks set to draw your oval. Come out, pull your first nail. You now have this string. Grab a pencil, pull it tight, put your string <coughs> in the corner, and follow this around. Let's go back, trace this back out. getting this one marked out there. So you now have your 17 or your uh, 18 by 15 oval. You can cut this out now. And this is all if you do not have, if you're using the original sink and you do not have the template, but you want to have a nice even hole underneath it, that that sink now will just slide in and fit over. So pull your nails out and Get your saber saw out and follow this line all the way around. Your new sink will fit down and you will have an inch gap on each side to run a silicone bead. Set your sink back down and perfect oval and all this now on the inside edge will be silicone. And so that is your tip and trick for the day. Again, Alan from Creative Surfaces and Design. Good luck. Have fun.